Capricorn. I've been sitting with your energy for quite some time and I've attempted this reading like numerous times, but I'm having difficulty deciding what I want to say first, what needs to be said first, what's most important in the oracle cards that came out and the channeled messages, where we're going in this reading. It's like all kind of like tangled up and I'm beginning to understand that this is part of the energy itself, this feeling like tangled up, this sense of pressure as well, and maybe criticism and judgment from someone and throwing your hands up and saying, I don't care anymore. Like, I don't care what they think, but then also it's still tangled in some sense. There's something about communication that is presenting a difficulty in your life. Either someone's not understanding you or you're having a hard time communicating with someone. You're not understanding them. But I got this card, Taming the Wind, 55. And this is a card that talks about simplifying your thoughts, taming your desire to explain everything all at once. This is a card that talks about biting your tongue and listening. So I feel like what you need to listen to is actually yourself. There is a very sweet, lovable, gushy <laughs> part of you that I always pick up on in your readings. But somehow this part of you has been silenced. Maybe you've silenced it. Maybe someone else is silencing it. And I feel like your heart really wants to come through and say, I really want this. I'm really passionate about this. I know I'm good at this. I, I want to succeed. I can succeed. There's like this part of you that's like, and it's like a small, um, not small. It's like, um, like an inner child kind of vibe, right? But very passionate and it feels like unseen or unheard. And so I got you're being too hard on yourself. And I also got that because you're being hard on yourself, you're energetically giving permission to others to be hard on you too. So watch that when you have some negative self-talk and you're feeling frustrated with yourself. Watch how the world responds. Is it a mirror of you? Is it a reflection of you? Or maybe you're mirroring others' feelings about you. Maybe you're internalizing some of other people's projections about who you should be and what you need to do and what you need to say or how you need to look or what, what is worthy and what is not worthy. And I feel like this really, it's frustrating is the best word, but it's this really difficult feeling because like you don't give a shit on some deep level. You know who you are and you know you have this beautiful light and fire and you know your mission and like you know how talented you are. You know who you are, okay? You do. And you're a very strong, assertive person and you command a lot of respect. But something's going on here where you're feeling like belittled or you're feeling insecure or you're feeling... um not heard, misunderstood. And it feels like to you, these are very contradictory positions. Like how could I be so sure in myself and then also feel this way? Like what is wrong with me? I feel like a little bit of like a crisis here almost. And I want to say to you that spirit is wanting to give you a way out of this labyrinth. There's a lantern for you here. And there's something about the hermit energy that's coming through. I feel like you need to spend a little bit of time alone. Okay, this doesn't mean you have to cut yourself off from other people, but this means like all those external pressures and things going on around you, you need a little bit of a break from it. You need to shield yourself, okay? Draw some energetic protection. Know when to take a break. Know when to give yourself a pat on the back. Know when to really go within and explore the, the happiness, you know? Where, where are you finding happiness this, these days? 
I feel like this is very situational, okay? This crisis energy. I don't feel like you're having an existential crisis, maybe for someone, but I feel more this is like there's a situation unfolding or that's been going on and you're not usually in this energy. Feels like we have to untangle this. Not that has been tied up restricting your capacity to create and to spark creation in others. Maybe this energy, hopefully, hasn't actually restricted you, but you feel that it is trying to. Okay, and that's pissing you off or putting you in this place, this darker place. And I feel like because of this energy, this knot, this tangle entanglement here that I'm sensing, it's bringing up some shadows or some stuff, I should say, from the shadow. Uh, and one of the messages I got here was, you're okay. You can stay with your shadows. Just don't let them devour you. So perhaps you're getting angry and you're really seeing your anger or you're getting sad and you're really seeing your melancholy, whatever it is, right? Or some wounds, some insecurities are rising to the surface. It's okay. You can work with those. You can have them be at the surface for you. You're allowed to be angry. You're allowed to be frustrated. You're allowed to be pissed. All of these things. But just don't let them devour you and take you under. It takes a lot of skill to hold those in your conscious mind and to work with those shadow aspects while not allowing them to take over. And I feel like perhaps this is a little bit of the crisis because you could sense this threshold like, whoa, I might go over here. I might go overboard or damn, I just snapped and I didn't mean to or I don't know what it is for you. This feels like a very specific message and I know it's not going to be for everyone, but I mean, it's coming through. So I got a message, I stand alone. And it reminded me of the song by Godsmack, <laughs> interesting band name to come through, uh, I Stand Alone. And some of the lyrics that are standing out to me is, I'm not afraid of fading, I stand alone, feeling your sting down inside me. I'm not dying for it, I stand alone. Everything that I believe is fading, I stand alone. Inside, I stand alone. And now it's my time. It's my time to dream. Dream of the skies. Make me believe that this place isn't plagued by the poison in me. And help me decide if my fire will burn out before you can breathe. Breathe into me. And I feel like here, this is the like, I'm throwing my hands up in the air. I don't care anymore. I'm just going to retreat. I'm going to stand alone in this and that's fine and screw everyone. But there's another aspect of the hermit energy, because this is kind of hermit in the shadow energy. There's a higher aspect of the hermit energy that says, okay, you don't understand me. You don't get me. That's okay. I'm going to go off on my own and light myself up from within rather than expecting you to provide an external light for me to guide my way. I'm going to guide myself with my lantern, <laughs> my inner wisdom. I'm going to stand alone and that's okay. You can choose to come along. You can choose to want to understand or learn from me or whatever it is or not. But I'm not going to let that take me down that you don't understand me. Or that I don't live up to your expectations because for some of you, you're feeling really judged and criticized. So when we feel judged and criticized and it actually bothers us, then we have to look at our inner critic. How, what, what are they saying? And why? So take that lantern of yours that's showing up here in the calendula card, which is a flower here, and go within, stand alone. You don't have to throw your arms up in frustration Maybe you just need to put your arms down. Say, okay, shrug it, shrug it off. Okay, I'm going to go alone, off on my own now. 
and spend some time figuring out what matters to me most. And there's some things here that you need to cut out. Because this card talks about you being able to sustain your inner flame, your inner fire. And we also have iron and uh, lead showing up. Iron being the supportive energy and lead being the challenging energy. And here we have Saturn and Mars. So Saturn is your ruler. But Saturn also has, Saturn has beautiful qualities about it. I'm a big Saturn fan. Okay, I have Saturn 29 degrees on my ascendant. So I like Saturn, okay? <laughs> I'm forced to. So Saturn here, interesting. That, that might be a message there for someone. Something about maybe feel forced to like something. But Saturn has a darker side here. And the darker side is restriction. The darker side is rules to the point where it squishes, squishes, interesting, squishes out, squeezes out, squishes out your individuality, your passion, your unique flame that makes you you. And I feel like this is some kind of battle that's going on right now. Some pressure, rules, restrictions, judgments, criticisms over what it is that you do or how you do what you do or even how you feel, how you express yourself. These are two very strong energies here. And to have these opposing one another is intense. <laughs> it explains to me what, why this reading is coming through in the way it is. So what Spirit wants you to do right now is leave the village. Thank the village, whatever the village signifies to you. You know, your, your friends from your childhood, your, your colleagues. You know, leave the village, which doesn't mean you need to cut people off. It could just be like, just don't internalize what they're saying about everything. And go off on your own into the mountain to find your own fire. Some of you have different creative ideas than the people around you, okay? Or you have different business ideas and you have somebody else who's not like amenable to them. So you need to go and find like what it is that you want to do and how you can make that happen without worrying what everybody else is saying. It's like a, a lot of noise and static. For some of you, this is related to love, okay? And it's like you have a lot of somebody else's baggage, not just them, but like, and I don't really like that word, but it's coming through, okay? <laughs> you have a lot of somebody else's like karmic baggage being thrown at you. For those of you who are dealing with something complicated in love, it's not just them. It's like all the shit that they went through, all the energies that they're still holding on to that they haven't worked through, the shadows that they haven't integrated, it's being thrown at you. It's a lot. It's a lot. And so I feel like you need some time alone. Okay, and this time that you spend alone is a time for listening, for taming your thoughts, for clearing energies out, for simplifying things, and for listening to yourself. And perhaps once you have this time alone, maybe it's a day you spend at a park or a couple hours, you need your peace of mind just for a couple hours, or you take a week somewhere. Okay, you carve out that special time for you. You may also be able to listen to others at some point and hear something different than what you're hearing now. Okay, you might perceive something in a new way once you've spent some time really reintroducing yourself to your deep inner wisdom and how that's your guiding light. Whoa. Okay, so what else did I get here? You've formed a deep connection to something. I don't know what it is, but that wanted to come through and you need to know that. I feel like this might be a spiritual connection. Um, I also saw this vision of a man in a tree and it looked like a silhouette of a man up in a tree. And I feel like because it's a silhouette, this could be an aspect of your shadow. I feel maybe this is the hermit, um, the shadow side of the hermit that's kind of taken up a lot of your energy, that part of you that wants to say, screw the world, I'm done.
Yeah. And I feel like this part of you the Hierophant it's actually very wise it is in the hermit energy so of course it's wise wise in the shadow ways wise of the shadow ways so this is part of what you need to sort out Capricorn what are you done with and what are you ready to continue on with what is no longer serving you that's keeping you around who do you need to tell to back off and draw a boundary with Okay, I'm going to get into your cards and see what else comes through. But man, don't be so hard on yourself, Capricorn. You've achieved a lot. Because I'm, you're coming through as the hermit over and over. And so you don't become the hermit or you don't step into hermit energy without holding some authority doing the hard work having deep inner wisdom justice and the seven of pentacles the magician at the bottom oh yeah this is a little frustrating this is like i'm trying to get some kind of balance in my life i'm trying to bring things back into balance Maybe for karma to be restored or just to have my life balanced. But it's taking forever. I'm not seeing progress. I'm not seeing growth. Or or maybe you are, but you're like, wow, this is going to take me forever to get to where I want to go. So what does Capricorn not see coming, spirit? What does Capricorn not see coming? The Eight of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. Somebody is trying to give you something. What are they trying to give Capricorn? Three of Wands. They want you to see something differently. Perhaps they're trying to give you an optimistic vision of, of your future. Or perhaps they're trying to introduce you into a new way of doing something or an easier way. Like Capricorn, hey, it doesn't have to be this e hard. <laughs> you can take this easy path. Perhaps it's even this reading. <laughs> it could be anybody or anything. But they're trying to give you something because they see your strength. They see and they believe in your potential to achieve what you want to achieve queen and king of pentacles maybe this is somebody very close to you someone who sees you as a match you could be seeing spiders a lot okay but this is somebody here who really believes in you and they're trying to help you in some way you might not see this as help you might be very resistant to this it might cause a little bit of anxiety or bring up your shadow or get you in your, you know, in your feels with something. What are they trying to help with? Nine of Wands. Well, they feel like you're overworking yourself, that you're exhausted. They feel you're defensive, and maybe you have every right to be, but I feel like this person, uh, Knight of Wands, they see you putting an obstacle in front of yourself. And listen, Capricorn, not like people don't always have the best guidance for us, okay? And sometimes people can say things to us about us that are just simply projections. And we can shrug it off and be like, no, that's not my problem. That's you, actually. <laughs> Happens a lot. But sometimes people actually have really good insights into our shadows. Because we can't always see, um, it's like most of the time, we can't see our own shadows and our own shit and things that are getting us all tangled up inside. 
We might have a good idea, but we can't really see it. And the people close to us can often see it. Or maybe even strangers can see it. And somebody here in your life sees something that you're not seeing, okay? And they're trying to tell you how to resolve something for yourself. And perhaps they are telling you, you need time off, you need to step away, you need to go on your own, you need to trust your inner guidance, you need to let your heart shine. You know, maybe they are saying all those things to you. They're right. Or maybe they're telling you you need to simplify something. This person wants you to move forward. And if this isn't anybody in your life, it could be an aspect of yourself that's trying to get you to feel all this, see all this. But you're very resistant because you have your guard up. You're feeling like nobody gets me, nobody understands me. Think about the shadow side of that statement. Nobody gets me. Nobody understands me. What would it mean to you to be really understood? What would that look like to you? Let's see the opportunity here for you, Capricorn. Nine of Cups. Your wish fulfillment balance the moon and the sun here <coughs> excuse me so what is your wish fulfillment what are you wishing for what are you hoping for i had written down here uh what are your dreams what is your dream and in this song it says dream of the i dream of the skies it's my time to dream Six of Swords. A new perspective, a new frame of mind. You want to break yourself out of some mental construct. Your, ma your, your mind wants to expand. Tell me more about Capricorn's dream. Five of Wands. Some of you dream and wish to get away from your own inner conflict and your own inner battle. <laughs> okay? That's your wish fulfillment. The Hermit. I was thinking as I was shuffling, and how does Capricorn do this? The Hermit. You need that time, Capricorn. When's the last time you took time for yourself? Like you, and I don't mean like you just, I don't know, did your usual thing to, to veg out. I mean like you actually took yourself on a trip or you treated yourself to dinner or like you journaled or I, I don't know. Or said no to somebody. When's the last time you said no? No, I like to somebody, not that you hate, okay? It's easy for you to say no to people that you detest. I get it. <laughs> but when's the last time you said no to somebody that you care for and they needed you? They wanted you to do something. They wanted you. When's the last time you said no? I can't. I need this time for myself. Perhaps some of you need to start practicing saying no to people that you actually care for or to things that you actually care about, but you just simply cannot do them at that time. Maybe you need to say no to the part of you that over overcomplicates things. Let's see your advice. Seven of Cups, simplify. This is a card of confusion, illusion, choices. So you need to simplify the Hierophant That part of you that's saying, I give up, screw this, I'm done, I don't care. That shadow aspect of you 
is wise, is smart. It's telling you that you need to step away, but don't do it in that way because you're going to perhaps burn a bridge where you don't want to, the hangman, and you don't want to burn this bridge because you're going to fall. <laughs> okay, you don't want to do something you'll regret later or act in a way that's like emotionally reactive, but you do need to listen to that shadow part of you that's like, screw it. <laughs> and you just, you know, turn that around, integrate that, understand that as I need to trust my own wisdom. So next time you say to yourself, screw it, I don't care what they think, whatever, whatever, say, I trust my own wisdom instead. Okay? And maybe when you say that, you feel it through and through. Yeah, I do trust my own wisdom. Or maybe you feel like maybe you don't. And then you have more questions for yourself. The star for what's going to manifest in the next three months, Capricorn. This is beautiful. <laughs> you're going to heal something here. And you're going to feel a lot more direction. I feel like this is very situational. This is very momentary. And that it's going to pass. And that you just need to honor yourself right now and give yourself that space you need. And perhaps when you give yourself that space, you'll be able to understand that somebody here who cares about you or has your your best intentions at heart, your best intentions at heart, uh, really has some good advice for you. All right, Capricorn. I'm going to go into an extended. In the extended, we go a layer deeper into this message. The link for that is in the description box below. If you don't want to come along to that, then just trust that you've received everything you need to hear. But if you do, I'll see you there. I love you so much. I'll see you next time.